This tutorial is one of the most important tutorials that you're going to watch when it comes to makeup. It answers a basic question that everyone needs to know about eyeshadow bases. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how an eyeshadow behaves with different kinds of bases, whether you're using a primer, concealer, dark base, or a light base. You absolutely don't want to miss this one. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> For all of the bases that I'm going to be experimenting with, I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow. This is the Pillow Talk Hypnotizing Pop Shot by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Ultraviolet. Just for comparison, on my left eye, I'm not going to be using any base. And on my right side, I'm going to keep changing the bases so we can compare the two. And at the end of this video, I'm going to include a slide with all the bases in it. So you can see the difference in the way the eyeshadow pops. First, I'm adding a warm brown shade in the crease just to give it some definition. The first base that I'm going to be using is an eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Primer portion. And I'm going to be using this only on the right side. The brush that I'm using is a concealer brush. And after I've applied the base, I'm going to use the brown eyeshadow on my right eye as well. Next, I'm going to be using the purple eyeshadow on the lid. On my left eye, as we remember, I did not use any primer. So I'm going to be applying it directly on my skin. And while applying just to be consistent throughout, I'm going to be dipping my finger only one time and I'm going to apply it over my entire lid. I'm not going to be double dipping. And I'm going to be doing that with all eyeshadow bases so we can compare the intensity. And this is how it looks with absolutely no base. You must have heard often, don't use an eyeshadow without a base. But why? That's because they don't show much, so they don't pop. And there is uneven color payoff. They are not evenly spread. And then there's difficulty in blending. There's potential for irritation on the eyes because you're using it directly over your skin. And then there's increased risk of fallout. And on my right side, I'm going to be applying it over the primer that I use. As you can see, it looks less patchy than what it is on my left side. And because now we have a sticky surface, that eyeshadow sticks better on my lid. So potential for fallout is less and it definitely looks brighter. And because we stuck it on a sticky surface, it's also going to be long lasting. Another commonly used primer is a concealer. I'm using the Milani concealer in the shade 145 while I keep the eyeshadow on my left side where we don't have a base. A lot of people are completely against using a concealer as base. I did a comparison of a concealer with an eyeshadow primer and I'm going to link that video for you so make sure to watch that. I would say use what is right for you. I have extremely oily and sweaty lids and I always felt like concealer does not work for me, but it does. So you have to see what is right for you. And this is how the eyeshadow looks over concealer used as base. I personally feel like the primer made the eyeshadow pop a tad bit more than the concealer, while the concealer also held on to the eyeshadow pretty well. So there was absolutely no fallout. And every eyeshadow base that I'm showing you today are long lasting. So they hold on to the eyeshadow throughout the day without fading it. So there's absolutely no problems with that. So here's one side, my right side with concealer as the base. And on my left side, I have absolutely no base. Let's take this a notch further by applying the concealer and then setting it with a translucent powder. I'm using the same concealer again. This is the Milani concealer in the shade 145. And for powder, I'm going to be using a translucent setting powder by Bare Minerals. This is the Mineral Veil. I'm going to very lightly set my lid. I'm going to warm up the crease with the brown eyeshadow before I use the purple eyeshadow on my lid. The advantage of setting with powder when you use a concealer or primer is it's not going to settle in the fine lines and crease so it's going to give you an even smooth base especially if you have very many fine lines on your lid but when it actually comes to the eyeshadow itself it's not going to pop as much in fact if you look at my left side where i have absolutely no primer that is shining more than my right side and because i set the lid with powder while it smooths out the eyelid that means anything that you apply over a smooth surface is also going to move or slide away 
So the eyeshadow is not going to be as long lasting as when you applied over a tacky surface. But again, coming back to the point of if you have very many fine lines on your lid or your eyeshadows tend to crease when you don't set with powder, then this is definitely a great option. Next, let's use a really light base. I mean a white base. I'm going to be using a white eye pencil as a base today. This is the ColourPop Exit Eye Pencil. I'm going to apply it on my lid and spread it out with my finger. Although I'm demonstrating this tutorial with a shimmer eyeshadow, it works the same with any eyeshadow, whether it's matte, it's shimmer, it's metallic. It's going to work the same with different eye bases. And here's how it looks on a white base. As you can see, there is increased vibrancy. It looks lighter, but more vibrant. And the creative possibilities are endless when you use a white base. You can create custom eyeshadows by layering colored eyeshadows over white base, leading to endless possibilities for unique looks. That's precisely one of the reasons why they use a white primer on the walls before they paint it because it makes it very flexible to use any other color over it. Next, let's use a base that's a similar color to the eyeshadow. I'm using the Molly Beauty Shadow Stick in Thistle. Although it's not the same color as the eyeshadow, it's almost similar. If you prefer to make your own colored base, you can mix a little bit of concealer with the eyeshadow to make a base before you apply the eyeshadow over it. Either way, you're going to have a colored base. And as you can see, while the eyeshadow looks more vibrant, the pigment payoff is excellent. And the reason for this is you're doubling up the color, one as a base and the eyeshadow over it. And because there's two layers of the same color, it intensifies the color, resulting in improved color payoff and color accuracy. Also, because it's the same color underneath as a base, it conceals any imperfections. If you have patchy eyeshadow that's going to conceal it, it's going to look even and fabulous. Last but not least, let's use a black base. I'm using Maybelline gel liner. You can use any gel liner. You can use a black eye pencil or a black stick eyeshadow. And of course, on my left eye, we are still keeping that eyeshadow without a base. And now I'm going to apply the same purple eyeshadow on my right side. And as you can see, it doesn't even look like the same color. What the black base does is it increases the depth and dimension, giving a smoky eye effect. Using a black eyeshadow base can create a striking and intense eye look because it adds that depth and dimension. So when you apply an eyeshadow over a black base, it just makes it more intense. It's a technique that I personally often use for bold and dramatic eye looks. Here's a comparison of all of the eyeshadow bases together. Which ones were your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Do check out links to all the products that I used in the description box right below this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.